Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, I will be talking about whether or not employers care which FE exam you take. And I also want to provide some advice on how you can determine which FE exam is the right exam for you. Let's jump right in. To get right to the point here, my honest opinion would be no. I do not think employers care about what FE exam you take. As long as you have an engineering degree from an ABET accredited institution, you can take the exam in whichever discipline you prefer. To an employer, passing the FE exam, regardless of discipline, will most likely signal your ability to take on a higher level of responsibility. It shows them that you really want to advance your career and are willing to go the extra mile to get there. Therefore, which exam you take is really up to you. No matter what FE exam you take, the key is to take the exam. Sign up, start preparing, and ultimately pass the FE exam. If you do, you will be well on your way to becoming a licensed professional engineer. When choosing which FE exam to take, my best advice would be to choose the exam that best aligns with the discipline you plan to pursue. Let's take a quick look at the seven disciplines you may choose from to take the FE exam. Chemical, Civil, Electrical and Computer, Environmental, Industrial and Systems, Mechanical, or Other, also referred to as General. I will provide links to each one of these exams in the description of this video that will provide more detailed information about what topics will be covered on each one of these exams. If you are still unsure of which FE exam to take, check out the FE Other or General exam. This exam is perfect for those who do not know which specialty they eventually want to pursue. While the other six exams have very topic-specific exam specifications, the FE Other or General exam combines topics from the other disciplines. It's also a good idea to evaluate the pass rates for an exam because there is no law that says you must take the FE exam in the discipline that you plan to practice. You might prefer taking one that has the highest passing rate. Here, you can see a breakdown of FE exam pass rates. You'll notice that the overall pass rate for the FE Mechanical is the highest and for the FE Industrial, the lowest. If looking at the pass rates makes you nervous, taking an FE exam prep review course can help to calm your nerves while significantly increasing your chance of passing the FE exam of your choosing. Apart from comparing exam specifications and pass rates for the different FE exams, it's always a good idea to call your state board and ask any other questions that you may have that might help you to make this important decision. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions, weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And these are tips that you can't get anywhere else. And believe me, you won't wanna miss a single video. And again, I encourage you to please ask questions in the comments below and I will read and respond to them in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover or a question that you need answered. Pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam. Thank you.